Now that you've configured your Novation controller in DP11, let's take a look at the features currently available. On the far left column, you'll find the play and record button. To play the DP sequence, press the play button. To record, press the record button. To stop, press the play button again. Go to DP's clips window. In the main section of the launch pad, each column represents a track in the clips window, while each row represents a clip scene. So for the launch pad, you can have eight possible tracks with eight possible scenes showing at one time. To cue a clip in DP, simply press on the equivalent clip cell on the launch pad. To cue an entire scene, press the equivalent button on the right. To select a track, press the corresponding button in this row. Use the buttons in the next row down to enter different modes. For example, press the solo button to enter solo mode. Now, press the select buttons to solo different tracks. Similarly, press the mute button to enter mute mode, then select the tracks you wish to mute. Let's now try recording directly into a clip. Go into record arm mode and select a track you wish to record on. Now, press an empty clip cell and start recording. Once the record cycle completes, you should have that clip available for queuing. To clear a clip cell, Hold the clear button on the left and then press the clip that you wish to clear. To copy a clip from one cell to another, hold the duplicate button, press on the clip you wish to copy, and then press on the cell or cells you wish to paste it in. To quantize an existing clip, hold the quantize button and select a clip. Pressing the fixed length button will toggle the auto end clip record feature. To enable input quantize for the project, press the shift button in the top left, then press the quantize button. While holding shift, you can press and hold the quantize button to open and close the input quantize dialog in DP. There are also several other shift mode options. Press the record button while in shift mode to retrospective record into the next available clip cell. At the bottom, you'll also find undo, redo buttons, a click button, and a tap tempo button when operating in shift mode. Remember, you can only tap tempo when DP is in tempo slider or tap pad mode. Lastly, you'll find up, down, left, right arrows in the top left of the launch pad. Use these to shift tracks left and right and shift scenes up and down. This will mostly come in handy when using more than eight tracks and eight scenes in DP's clips window. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video on using your Novation controller in DP11. For written information, please visit the help menu in Digital Performer.